So my name is Lilian Silva, I'm the Forest Specialist for Clemson University. And I want to just approach one of the uh, main points when we're going to think about cover crops uh, as a strategy to nutrient management plans on ecosystems. And the point that I want to uh, focus is uh, how we can work on um, on having the, the the major point that we usually focus is nitrogen uh, availability, right? Residual nitrogen that will become available from the cover crops to the next crop, next crash crop. So one of the major points is how um, how the that process will happen. And for that process to happen, we need to understand the carbon to nitrogen ratio that we have uh, on plants and that is going to impact uh, that utilization of that plant uh, biomass, that plant material by microorganisms. And this is not something that uh, we often uh, address. So I think that's an important point that uh, it should become more, um, more available as information for people wanting to learn more, wanting to understand what's happening in the soil. So when we talk about carbon to nitrogen issue, we have carbon material in the plants. We have um, a percentage uh, of um, of uh, carbon per uh, per part of the plant material. We also have nitrogen uh, as a nutrient that's uh, in the in the plant, uh, most on, on the leaves and uh, other nutrients as well. But for uh, thinking about uh, how the plant biomass will be decomposed later, we need to understand, and I, I usually refer uh, to the, the plant uh, biomass, the plant that's gonna be um, left behind and um, in the area as litter, but it's, litter, it's really the, the plant residual that's, uh, there and it's it's a really important nutrient pool uh for ecosystems in general my special to my area of ex expertise is forage livestock systems so this is definitely something that uh i will um often address and look at as uh how much nutrients um how much nutrient uh, will be available from uh, the um, that litter that's um, deposited on the soil surface of forage livestock systems. And the carbon to nitrogen ratio of that plant material will impact on how fast those nutrients can be uh, used by microbial um, organisms that are in the soil and will be uh, decomposing that material. So generally, we would like to see a ratio that's close to 25 to 1 for carbon to nitrogen ratio, because this is, um, the, this is close to the ratio that most of the soil microorganisms have for their own, um, own biomass. So this is going to facilitate uh, uh, utilization of the, the plant residual to produce more of their um, population. And that will help the plants uh, to release nutrients, especially nitrogen uh, for the, the plants that will be already growing there or uh, will uh, be growing next on that area and uh, how that residual nitrogen will become available to those plants. So just an, as an example, and uh, I'll be using an example that's a forage. So when we're talking about mature uh, material, so let's think about, for example, uh, mature cereal rye. Plants will have a close to 40 to one on, uh, on some cases when it's really uh, done with its uh, cycle uh, of growth and uh, has a right maturity matured and uh, it's uh, it's dry and really um, doesn't have a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of um, 
potential to doesn't have any potential to grow or anything else as opposed to uh if we had uh vegetative um grasses especially cool season grasses or if we have legumes that are, are still uh being um as you're growing and really on the point that has been uh, managed uh, properly, we generally will have ratios that will be 20 to uh, one or even less. Um, and that's going to facilitate the use of that material and the incorporation of that material into, into the soil, the release of the nutrients from those materials as well. Um, this can be sometimes complicated to understand. So if there's any uh, questions, if uh, there is need for follow-up, or um, you just would like some reference to learn more about these topics, reach out to me. Uh, you are seeing my mail in the screen, on the screen. And um, I'll be glad to uh, answer questions that you may have. Um, Thank you for watching this video. Um, I invite you to check out other videos available on the Forge Drops YouTube uh, channel and also uh, subscribe to it. Uh, I, I'm talking about drops in a series of videos uh, for, the, for this month, but I do have um, a lot of other uh, videos with different topics related to forage and livestock systems. So if you'd like to check, um, I invite you to check and become a subscriber if you like the content. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next ones.